Well, today's talk is on antiderivatives. This uh, really uh, has many, many uses, including finding the areas under the curve. Um, and uh, for example, if you have uh, velocity information, you can find distance and so on. And essentially, it just reverses the operation of, um, of derivatives. So when you differentiate, the reversal of differentiation is off is anti-differentiation, also known as finding it the anti-derivative. So we may define d by dx of f of x as being f prime, and uh, simply by simply going backwards, we can get f of x back again, um, which um, makes makes it kind of like an inverse operation of some kind. And um, for a lot of people in university, this is where a calculus student might spend the majority of their time. We're kind of ask, ans sorry, we're kind of asking the question: If we know f prime, can we know f? All right. So let's uh, do a couple of examples. For example, you know, if f of x is 1, then by reversing the operation, we think about what is, what derivative, or the derivative of what gives us 1, and the answer would be x. Now, you could also add some constant, some number c to add, because if you thought of the derivative, the derivative of the constant is supposed to go to 0, and x plus any constant should still differentiate to 1. Now, if f primed is x, then reversing that, x goes to x squared. But if you differentiate that, you get 2x, not x. So then to hedge that, you say that the antiderivative of x is x squared over 2. And then once again, you add a constant because it could actually, the truth be known, the original function could have had any constant added to it because its derivative goes to 0 anyway. And similarly, if f of f prime of x is x squared then x cubed divided by 3 plus c would be the antiderivative but moving on if uh, if it was a linear function with a constant added to it then its antiderivative would be x squared because this time x squared you you'll end up with 2x squared over 2 the 2's cancel and you get x squared plus 3x plus c and f prime of x of, say, 1 over x, an inverse or a reciprocal of x. If uh, you learned about the derivatives of natural logs, then you would know that the natural log would be the antiderivative because when you derive the natural log, you get 1 over x as its rate of change. And finally, if f prime of x is the cosine of x, then its antiderivative becomes the sine of x reversing that differentiation. I should write plus c on that. 